Hi, Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. Uh, these are general readings, so we take what works, we leave what doesn't, as with everything in life. If I don't catch your wavelength or storyline on this reading, check your other major placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, you have a secret card here. I love the secret card. Oh, fascinating. Okay. Um, and uh, if you get something out of this video, please hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe because um, it not only does that help other people find the channel, it also um, gives me um, a little kick. I like it. All right. What do we got here? Okay. <laughs> oh, fascinating. Cards already shown up. Um, with the uh, cancer, I believe. Okay, we have from the Oracle of Mystical Moments, Sea Witch. Um, there's a sense of uh, frustration here. Um, there's been learning, hmm, frustration, learning through play, um, waiting for your chance, waiting for your opportunity to move forward, to go towards something that you want. That's very exciting, but just be, sort of being stuck in a situation where you can't move forward. <clears throat> but you'd really like to. This is preparations, play. It's emotional. There's a deep emotional sense here. There might be a, a sense of, no, you feel like you're worthy. You feel like you're good enough. Uh, there's just a sense of the um, tools not being available to you right now. Like that, that you could really go somewhere and you could really do something if you just had the chance, if you just had the opportunity. Um, you feel ready for your next level and you're just waiting for sort of the next level to come to you or, yeah, you're, you've got support. You're very committed to something. Um, and you feel like you deserve something and you're ready to move up, but life just isn't giving you the opportunity. That's where you're going. And I, I do feel like there might be a little bit of an immature energy with that. So see which young uh, jellyfish mermaid, not really able to propel herself forward at this point, but really feeling like she deserves to. Then we have change of seasons. So things going on around you that you're not really in control of or in charge of. Um, a whole sort of season change, change of seasons would imply that, um, going on around you. And, and your job here is almost to just stand still and let it happen and maybe like lift your arm up, let them take the measurements and, and like that. So um, change of seasons, you've got a lot going on in your environment, a lot of shifts and a lot of changes happening here uh, to you and you're just sort of uh, receiving these changes. I do like new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. I love this arrow shooting straight towards its goal. Um, and it comes at a time when you're not feeling very lucky. Maybe some things have happened. You haven't gotten the opportunities you wanted. And this is saying that um, uh, the luck is on your side. This is the Kurt Vonnegut quote of, um, uh, we know so little about life. We don't even, uh, I'm butchering it, but we don't know what the good news is and what the bad news is. So you may have experienced something that feels like bad luck to you. Changes that don't feel positive to you. Changes that feel, um, you know, they're outside of your control. They're not what you wanted, but they're all working together for your highest good here. And then we have star seed. What lights you up? Really looking at um, what do you what what do you enjoy doing? You know, and and dreaming about that, dreaming about things. And this is a little bit of this sea witch vibe too, of dreaming about things uh, that you want and and that you'd like to do. You know, she's been playing with this propeller for a long time. She'd really like to go somewhere. So what lights you up? Getting in touch with something with your joy, with, um, with what's exciting for you, that kind of thing. What lights you up? And luck is on your side. Maybe your luck is changing. Things are changing more for your benefit, even though they don't, they might not feel like it right now. Right now you might feel vulnerable, naked, and afraid while everything's changing. It's all changing up for your, um, for your benefit, for your, for your, your own good. You're really ready though. You feel really ready for a change in luck here. But there's also this sense of exploration. I get that with the sea witch too. There's a sense of exploring what brings you joy. You know, you may not even know. I, I mean, just myself in the last 
year, I can think of several things, several avenues and hobbies and interests that I've developed that I had no idea were going to bring me so much joy and I was going to enjoy so much. And I'm middle aged. So, um, so just, this could be finding a new, a new, something new that, um, that makes you happy and, and thrills you a little bit, or just really thinking about, you know, what fuels you in your life? What do you love? What does make you excited? Oh, I was just thinking about something like that earlier. What was the phrase? Moving towards what makes you feel alive. And there is a sense of dreaming and thinking about it. Oh, okay. Well, that was eventually going to happen. King of Swords as an overall energy here is uh, King of Swords, great ideas, very clear communicator, very fair, um, does feel entitled to communicate and entitled to, um, yeah, entitled to communicate and entitled to say what's on his mind, um, but definitely sees the whole picture and it feels, so this could be someone you're dealing with or this could be an energy that you're embodying or that's coming towards you. There's a sense of, of clarity and fairness so it was grace with this truth too so it's not just here's some harsh truths for you it's like here i bring this um gracious judgment and a right to bring it and a right to communicate oh my goodness leo okay this is your past your present your inner landscape, what's at issue, your environment, your to-do list, and your possible outcome. Wow, we have got some reversals going on here that surprised me. Um, I was not expecting that. All right. Okay. In your recent past, we have the high priestess in reverse. So this is a lot, this could be a lack of faith, a lack of spiritual connection. This can also be um, things being hidden from you on purpose, um, or you hiding things from other people. There's something that was hidden that was hidden on purpose and maybe even did not feel like it was for your best good. It, it may have felt, I mean, I'm, because luck is on your side here, I'm saying that overall it's going to be, but it did not feel like it at the time. It felt like truths and information were being withheld from you almost cruelly. Um, and without purpose, you really didn't see the point of, of why someone would withhold that from you. Um, and why someone would lie in the upright we'd be talking about there's a point there's a purpose you have to go step by step you can't see the end result because you just want to rush there so we're gonna um, so the universe you know wants wants to see you make the steps wants to watch you uh, you know make the steps towards something so but in the reverse like this we're talking about um, it seemed pointless it seemed kind of cruel and kind of weird and awful like why would someone withhold that from you that doesn't make any sense to you um and it didn't seem to have a greater purpose um and there might have been just like a total lack of faith to here in um or disconnect from your own spirituality from your own spiritual path from your own uh source materials um like uh source like spiritually but also like like the 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 spiritual books that you would turn to typically for advice and guidance you did not turn to those or that those were somehow unavailable to you so there's been some sort of spiritual disconnect um and also and or and or an, an issue where someone withheld information from you there were things that you didn't see and people wanted you to not see them and that was really um that and and coming to that realization and understanding that was very difficult here we have um well this is what's going on right now in the past things were withheld from you you're discovering this now this is judgment this is things coming back from the past for reevaluation. uh how did i make those decisions um, what, maybe this high priestess was you withholding information intentionally from somebody. Um, but this judgment card is uh, looking at the past and trying to understand it so that we can move forward to the future in a much better way. So you've been looking at the decisions you made, why you did what you did, uh, why other people did what they did. This could be somebody or some event from your past coming back. Um, and, and it's an opportunity to examine, to question, and to grow from our past and to take responsibility for what's ours to take responsibility from uh, going into the future. So this could be 
just something from your some things come back from the dead here and there's a lot of ana analysis and looking at it and looking at what happened this can be really good really healthy um you know looking back at past traumas looking back at uh our formative years and the way things that shaped us and being able to see them now as an adult um so uh, things or or just relationships from our past that are coming back and we're we're trying to understand like why why did I behave the way I did or why did they behave the way I did and there's a lot of understanding and clarity and scrutiny going on right now for, of something that that happened before um, in your inner landscape we have nine of swords um, I think all of this realization and understandings is ha helping you move out of a, a state of anxiety. So um, often, oftentimes too, for me, my response to having information withheld from me is to know that information is being withheld from me, not know what that is. And it just creates a deep abiding anxiety forever. Like, it's just like, I know I'm supposed to know something. Um, I know that somebody's keeping secrets from me and, um, and it can just create, and I know I'm not the only one that responds to that that way, just, just, there can just be a vibe of there's something being withheld from me and it creates anxiety because your subconscious knows there's something going on here. Um, and so it looks like you're very hopeful to come out of a, a space of anxiety. This is, this is where these ideas and these words and these thoughts are all just in your head and you're fine in your environment. Um, but this, with the reversal, I'm almost thinking that you're not fine. You were not fine in your environment. Your environment was holding, withholding something from you and you were really feeling that. So now that things have come, come to light and, and are, are, you know, coming, coming up for examination and what was my role? What did I do? Um, what did this other person do? All of that. I feel like you're very hopeful that this is going to help you with this anxiety. I'm hopeful that it'll help you with any anxiety that you're experiencing because this is in the reverse here. Normally, in the, if it were upright, I would say, um, and normally I don't take reversals, but in tarot, there are no mistakes. So we're taking reversals, right? So in the upright, I would say like, you're safe, you're safe in your bed, you're fine. You're just dealing with some of our darker thoughts and our darker fears. Um, but in the reverse here, I'm really getting the feeling like you, there, you're in, something was going on in your environment that wasn't for your best interest. That wasn't, wasn't for your highest good. Um, and you felt that. And I feel like now you're, you're hoping to not be so anxious, hoping to get out of this. Obviously anybody that's experiencing anxiety is hoping to not be experiencing anxiety anymore. Um, so that's, what's going on here in your in, inner landscape. Um, coming out of that situation or coming out of hoping to to come out of a anxious the situation itself was causing a lot of anxiety um so it wasn't just in your head anxiety where you're safe as safe as a person can possibly be on planet earth um because ultimate safety if with someone that has anxiety the idea of ultimate safety is um is ridiculous because we all know we're not 100 uh, perfectly safe here um, a meteorite could come through and, and bash us on the head and we'd be dead, right? So we're talking about as safe as a person can be. So, so you, that's, but you weren't and, and your environment was causing some sort of anxiety for you. And now you're really hoping that once this all, now that this is all getting cleared up, um, it's not going to be quite so much inner torture or inner torment or anxiety. And the, um, the issue here, there, something that's an issue is the queen of coins here reversed. Um, so that's going to be, um, money issues, uh, maybe even career issues, uh, not knowing what you want out of your career, not being able to progress forward on your career. I mean, that's what I, I was getting with this is not being able to progress forward, feeling like you've put in the work, you want to do what you want to do, but you're not able to progress forward with it. Um, you don't have the opportunities yet to do that. So that's a little bit of what this queen of coins is. I've been dinking around here. I've been putting in my work. I feel like I'm ready to do this, but it's not happening. But this could be like, you're not actually ready to do it. You're not actually like, um, you don't actually have the tools. So there's some sort of blockage in your career path or in your money path. And it has to do with internals. The queens are all about the inner universe. So 
that was funny how I did that. <laughs> the queens were all about the inner universe here. And so we're really looking at the inner universe and our relationships to money, our relationships to our career, our relationships to work and really working. And that's, that's what's at issue here. Is there some sort of inner issue that's going on that is having an effect on your career? Um, we were just talking about this in the comment section with one of the, one from last week, one of the readings from last week about how, um, our inner landscape can really um really does have this strong effect because uh where we're going is the card that talks about that the inner landscape that's my heater it'll go off in a minute uh the inner landscape's actually gonna have some sort of um say here because because and and your something here is your blockage is due to an internal issue an internal blockage um, and it might have been this whole situation that was causing anxiety has caused some sort of um, actual effect in your in in your uh, manifested reality. So then we have in your environment the hanged man. There's something in your environment that's just not moving forward. This could be a whole. I mean, we have whole industries at a stop right now. Um, so it could just be the industry wide. It could be for you personally. Something's just really not moving forward. And with the hanged man. Um, all the blood is draining to his head. So he's going to be doing a lot of thinking. And what he's thinking about, there's something in your environment that's really causing you to re-examine how you got here. It's the same judgment card here. Like, um, it's very similar. This is the thing rising from the past, coming back into your life. And this is you figuring out, how did I get here? How is this happening to me? I don't understand why I'm in this situation. I mean, and I just... We do get in situations and we have to own the choices that brought us here. We may not be responsible for, you know, what other people do for the situation itself, for the whole coronavirus experience. That's outside of our control. But how are we responding to it? How are we um, reacting to it? And what are the choices that we made that got us in this situation? We can't get out of the situation now at this point, um, but we're thinking about it. So he's, he's thinking about how to get out of the, how, how he got here. This is a lot about how we got here. And this is a lot about an opportunity is presenting itself in your life to really think about um, how you get out of this situation. And when the external gears of our lives like come and stop, when everything in our external life comes to a stop and is unworkable, that's the opportunity we have to go on the inside and start working with those inner gears and, um, and because the outer gears are, are stopped and aren't, aren't going anywhere right now. So, so now it's time to go inner. And so this to me is like, he's not able to move physically, really go anywhere, but what he can do is a lot of contemplation and a lot of thinking about his choices, the decisions he's made that got him here, um, his role in how things went and how things have gone in the past. What And, and um, so it doesn't, it's like undoing a knot. It's not a, a huge activity. The huge activity will be when he finally, this energy finally gets released and he gets to move forward. Uh, the, but right now he's got to think through how to undo this knot. How did I get here? How did this happen? How do I undo this? Um, how do I get out of this situation? So there's, um, there's a knot. And I, oh, I think this is where our King of Swords is coming in here. I think the King of Swords wants to clarify this hanged man. That we're un, unreleasing, we're, this, this whole situation re requires both truth and grace. Uh, justice and mercy both alike as we're examining how we got here and as we're as we're going into this judgment uh, card too that we we're, where we're at right now is um, is justice and mercy together coming in looking very very clearly at our own actions and how we've contributed to the situation and at the same time having compassion for ourselves and everybody else in the situation about how we got here. Uh, so this hanged man is about really thinking some things through, really thinking it out um, and, and something in your environment, just it's not going to go. I mean, and there's a certain point where you can think it through um, repeatedly and overthink it through, right? So we're not going to do that um, because just because you thought it through and you learned your lessons doesn't mean the situation automatically switches and moves forward. Um, th there's a whole little ripple effects right so but right now there's the opportunity and the stoppage is here providing you and begging you please to take this opportunity to think about how you got here and and how you how you want to move forward in your uh your to-do list 
is this nine of cups. And again, I'm seeing this with this king of swords, the mercy part. This is being proud of how far you've come, being proud of the work you've put in, being proud of how far you've come, being proud of, of um, you know, being able to adjust to the stoppage, external stoppage, um, being proud of coming out of this, this place of nine of swords, being proud um, and happy with your ability and your willingness to re-examine the past. Um, and then I do believe this is also what lights you up. What makes you happy? Really focusing on being happy, being proud of how far you've come, uh, not getting really bogged down in uh, the worst things that have happened, but being proud of how far you've come, how much you've grown, how much happiness there really is available to you right now. Just being really focused on your happiness and, um, and being happy with where you're at right now, um, because we're not going to be able to um, you know, you're, you're stuck here for a while. So I feel like there's a, a sense of figuring out how to be happy where you're at right now in the situation that you're at right now. This creates your future opportunities. This, this, this is where you're going. And I feel like our, our, where we're possibly going, a possible outcome could be coming in as a warning. If you do not start really focusing on gratitude and um, and joy in how far you have come, and joy in, in what you do have right now. If we're not gonna focus on, on our positives, if we're not gonna be filled with gratitude and enjoyment for all that life has given us. So that doesn't mean everything's perfect. We're grateful for the measure of health we have. We're grateful for the measure of wealth we do have. Um, because this next card is, I think these cards come together, five of coins here. This is feeling left out, feeling impoverished, feeling like you don't have anything, feeling like this dude's got uh, emotional support right here. But instead, he's very focused on all that he does not have. I mean, yeah, OK, it is it isn't much. OK, but he needs to be focused on what he does have. Um, this love that he does have. So we may not feel fully loved in our life, but appreciating how loved, I mean, we, we are fully loved, but it may not be the expressed, but um, hmm, I don't know if I want to go in that direction because it's easy to misunderstand. So, although I'm sure you guys can understand it. So, um, but this is about, um, if you, you need to be focused on gratitude, focused on everything you have, uh, you may be feeling left out in the future. Part of this though is, um, is, you know, you can't go anywhere. You can't do anything. There is a possibility that you'll, you'll be feeling left out or a little bit poor in the future. Um, but the solution to that, and this is why I feel these two come to, come in together, the solution you have, not the solution, it's not going to solve your problems, but it is the best way to deal with this is being grateful for what you do have, being grateful for the support you do have, being grateful for the money you do have, being grateful for the people that you do have in your life, being grateful for the opportunities you have had in your life. Um, and, um, and there is something lucky going on here. Although I do, this does not look like the luckiest spread I've ever seen in my life, but we're going to be grateful for the luck we do have, right? Um, so there could be coming a temptation in the future to really focus on lack, on poverty, on what you don't have and all the friends you don't have anymore, all the things you don't get to do anymore, all the stuff you don't have. And I think that this is these two cards next together, next to each other are telling me that you really need to be focused on gratitude right now and being grateful for whatever measure of health, wealth, well-being, um, joy, and uh, luck you do have. Being grateful for what you do have because it's going to be really easy in this reading to really focus on all that you don't have. And you have some luck coming in for you, but you're going to need to be ready to receive it. If you're in a really negative space of lack, you may not even notice it or be ready to receive the, the luck that's coming towards you. Hmm. Connection. Some unsettled energy here. They're breaking down some barriers. The walls come tumbling down. To defend ourselves against pain, we can create walls of protection around us, sometimes without even realizing it. Those walls make it hard for love, life, and joy to enter our world. That's what I'm talking about with this. Maybe we needed those walls once upon a time, but now it's time for those walls to come tumbling down because divine love wants to enter your world. Don't get focused on the lack. Don't get focused on what you've been shut out of. Focus on what you do have. 
um, and and we're gonna and things will start flowing eventually. They have to, right? But um, but for now, you just got to figure some things out and get straight in your head. There's a lot of internal work here, and it's affecting the externals for sure. So um, so this is just an opportunity that that you have right now to do that inner work and get those inner gears going. So Leo, I hope that that's helpful for you. Have a great week.